Hi everyone, welcome to Saying In How to Study Chinese. This is HSK Level 1 course, and I am your teacher, Ronnie. Today we are going to learn Lesson 12, 第十二课. 明天天气怎么样? 明天天气怎么样? It means, what will the weather be like tomorrow? Okay, now let's move on to our first part, warm up. You can see there are six pictures and six new words as usual. Let's see the new words first. First one is 冷, 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 which means cold. Cold, 冷. Next one, 热, it is the opposite to 冷, which means hot. 热, 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 hot. Next one is 下雨. 下雨, okay, 下雨, it means rain, rain to rain. Next one, 水, 水, we've seen this word, this word before, it means water, water. Next one is 水果, 水果, okay, this one means fruit, fruit. Last one, 医生, 医生, we already know this, means doctor. Okay, I will give you 15 seconds and please fill in the blanks. Okay, time's up. Now let's see the right answers. First one, long cold, which is See, we can see this puppy is wearing so many sweaters. Next one is 热, 热 means hot, which is D, D, obviously. Next one, 下雨, 下雨 is B, rainy. Next one, 水, water is A. And next one, 水果, fruit, fruit is F. Last one, 医生, doctor is E. Okay, now let's move on to our text one and let's see the new words. First new word is 天气, 特言, 天气, 气, 天气, read after me please. 天气, 天气, it means weather, weather. So when I say 北京的天气, then this means the weather in Beijing, right? So how to say the weather in Shanghai? It is Shanghai de Tian Qi. Do you remember this word? The it means the it indicates the possession relationship, right? The thing after the belongs to the thing before the okay A the B. So the weather in Beijing, Beijing de Tian Qi, the weather in Shanghai. Shanghai the Tian Qi. So what about the weather in America? Then it is Mei Guoda Tian Qi, right? Mei Guoda Tian Qi. Pay attention to the it is a neutral tone. Okay, now let's say today's weather. Today. Weather for today. It's Jing Tian the Tian Qi, right? 今天的天气, 今天 means today, and tomorrow's is 明天的天气, 明天的天气, okay, yesterday's 昨天的天气, okay, 昨天的天气. Now, if I say, if I want to say, weather is very good, the weather today is very good, how to say that? Try to say the weather is very good first. It is, the weather is 天气, and the very good is 很好 in Chinese. So, 今天天气很好 is today's weather is very good. 今天天气很好. Please don't forget this 很, which means very. Next one, the weather is not good. Not good. It is 天气 不好, 天气, 不好, 不 is the negative form for 不好, okay, 不好. This is 天气. Next one is 怎么样, 怎么样, 自恩, 怎么, 呃, 么样, 
怎么样? And this mu is neutral tone. Mu inside. Okay, try to read up to me. 怎么样? 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 Okay, 怎么样? It means how. How? So whenever you want to ask about something, how's this thing, then you can put the thing before 怎么样? Okay, for example, if I want to ask, how's the weather? Then I should put the weather before 怎么样, right? Then it is 天气怎么样, okay? 天气怎么样, how's the weather? 天气怎么样? So if I want to ask about today's weather, then it is 今天天气怎么样, right? 今天的天气怎么样? This is 怎么样? Next one is 太, 特爱, 太, read up to me please. 太, 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 it means too much, too much, okay? And it is usually used in this structure. 太,什么了? 太,怎么了? Okay? 太,blah,blah,了? We will put a le at the end of 太 sentences. For example, if it is too good, I will say 太好了. 太好了, okay? So this is 太. Next one is 热, 热, 热. Read up to me, please. 热. 热, try to roll up your tongue a little bit. 热, 热, means hot, hot. And the negative form of it, try to guess it, it is 不热, right? 不热. Please pay attention to the tone sandy here. 不, it is a fourth tone word, but it, because it is before a fourth tone syllable, 热, so it will change to second tone, so 不热. Okay, 不热. And let's try to say, the weather is very hot. The weather is very hot. How to say that? The weather is 天气, and very hot is 很热. 天气很热 is enough. Please don't say 天气是很热. This kind of structure we've, said, we've learned about it before, it is the Adjectable predicate, right? Adjectable predicate. 很热 is acting as a predicate. So we don't need 是 inside to act as a predicate. So 天气很热 is enough. It is right. 天气很热. So if the weather is not hot, then it is 天气不热, right? 天气不热. Okay, try to say hot tea. Hot tea. T. It is 热茶. Okay, 热茶. Try to say that. 热茶. And if I want to say hot coffee, then it is 热咖啡. Cafe is coffee in Chinese. 热咖啡. And still remember how to say cooked rice? How to say hot rice in Chinese? Hot rice. It is 热米饭, 热米饭, okay, 米饭. Okay, now try to say hot dish, hot dish. It is 热菜, right, 热菜, 此爱, Thai, it means dish, cuisine, 热菜. And if I want to say too hot, then we can use this structure we've learned, which is 太热了, 太热了. Okay, now last word for text one is 冷, 冷, 冷. Read after me, please. 冷, 冷, it means cold, cold. So the weather is too cold. 太冷了, right? 天气太冷了. The weather is very cold. It is 天气很冷, right? 天气很冷. And if the weather is not cold, 天气不冷, 天气不冷. The same structure as 热, 
Okay, 天气不冷 Now let's try to read these words from start, each for twice. Three, two, one. 天气，天气，怎么样？怎么样？太，太，热，热，冷，冷。Okay, now let's move on to our text. Please listen carefully when I am reading. 昨天北京的天气怎么样？太热了。明天呢？明天天气怎么样？明天天气很好，不冷不热。Okay, let's see this text sentence by sentence. First one. 昨天北京的天气怎么样 ？Let's see the structure. 昨天 is the time word, right? The time word, and then the subject is 北京的天气 The weather in Beijing. 北京的天气怎么样 ？How's that? How's that? Okay, it means how. So we can see the time word is before the subject, and it is still before the predicate. Okay. How's the weather yesterday in Beijing? And B answer, 太热了 Okay, this is the structure we've learned here. 太 plus an adjective and then plus a 了 at the end of a sentence. 太 blah blah 了太热了 too hot. And A is asking again, 明天呢？明天天气怎么样？ No is used to ask about things mentioned before. 明天呢 How's tomorrow? How's the weather tomorrow? 明天天气怎么样 How's the weather tomorrow? The answer: 明天天气很好 Tomorrow the weather is very good. 不冷不热不冷不热 Not cold and not hot. Okay, let's see. 不冷不热 Pay attention to the tone sandy of 不 Okay, 不冷不热 Okay, this is the text one. Really easy, really easy. Now let's try to read it from the start. Read up to me, please. 昨天北京的天气怎么样？太热了。明天呢？明天天气怎么样？明天天气很好，不冷不热。Okay, now let's try to read it in rows. I will be A and you will be B. Okay, three, two, one. 昨天北京的天气怎么样？明天呢？明天天气怎么样？好、okay, ，now let's switch the row. Please start. 太热了。明天天气很好，不冷不热。Okay, now let's move on to text two. First word is 下雨，下下雨，下雨。You can see here this pin is actually this, but we've learned the rule of this pin, right? We need to get rid of these two dots when it is after the initial e. Okay, that's why we write it as. Like this. Read up to me, please. 下雨，下雨，下雨 Listen, I read 雨 as a half third tone because it is here. Half third tone, right? Half third tone. It means to rain, to rain. And in this phrase, 下 is the verb. 雨 is the noun. Verb 下 means to fall, to drop. And yu means the rain, so drop rain. It means to rain, to rain. 
okay, 下雨。And if I wanna express that today it is raining, it is raining right now, or it had rained, then I will put a l after it. 下雨了 it means the thing is happening or the thing happened. Okay, 下雨了 and I can say yesterday it rained. Yesterday it rained. I can say 昨天下雨了 Okay, 昨天下雨了 If I just say 昨天下雨 then then this sentence is not complete. Okay, 昨天下雨了 is a complete sentence. And if I want to say now it is raining. Now it is raining. It can I can say 现在下雨了 Okay, 下雨了 Still can use 下雨了 Okay, this is 下雨 Next one is 小姐小姐 Okay, this is 夕阳小鸡也姐 Two third tones together. Then what should we do? A tone Sunday of the tone, which is the first third tone will will transform into second tone. So it is 小姐小姐 Okay, read up to me, please. 小姐小姐 Okay, means miss or young lady. So whenever you wanna、uh, call a young lady, then you can put the family name before 小姐 For example, if the if the young lady's family name is Li, then you can call her Li 小姐 Li 小姐 But nowadays in China, we won't use 小姐 that often. We will use Madam instead of 小姐 Okay, this is 小姐 Next one is 来热爱来 Read up to me, please. 来来 It means to come. To come. Okay. So the object of this word is to go. To go. How to say to go in Chinese? It is 去 right? 去 To come and to go. 去 So we can see. The structure and the language point of 来 must be really similar to 去 okay. So when I want to say to come to a place to do something, come to a place to do something, then I can use this structure 来 plus a place, right? 来 plus a place, a location, a direction, and plus a verb and plus a plus an object. Means come to a place to do something. Come to a place to do something. So first, let's try to say come to school. Come to school. It is 来学校 right? 来学校学校 is school. 西学学西校校来学校 Okay. So try to say come to school to study Chinese. Come to school to study Chinese, and it is. 来学校学习汉语 right? 来学校来 plus a place. 来学校 and the verb learn study is 学习学习 and Chinese is 汉语 so 来学校学习汉语 okay. And we come to school to study Chinese is. 我们来学校学习汉语。And how to say come to school to work? 来学校工作。来学校工作。And teacher come to school to work is 老师来学校工作。Okay, very good. And the negative form of 来 must be 不来 right? 不来 just put a 不 before 来不来。And don't come to school is 不来学校，不来学校。And he don't, he doesn't come to school today. He didn't come to school today. It is 他不来学校。And where should we put the time word before the predicate, right? So 今天他不来学校 ，or 他今天不来学校。These two are both right. 
Okay, this is for text two. Let's try to read the new words from start. Read after me, please. 下雨，下雨，小姐，小姐，来，来。Okay, this is the new word. Now let's try to now let's listen listen to the text. Please pay attention to the pronunciation. 今天会下雨吗？今天不会下雨。王小姐今天会来吗？不会来。天气太冷了。Okay, let's see. 今天会下雨吗？今天会下雨吗 ？Let's see. 今天 it means today, and 会 actually it means the indicates the possibility of something happen, and the possibility of what? 下雨 raining. Okay, so this sentence is actually talking about will it rain today? Will it rain today? And be sad. 今天不会 ，no. Today there won't be any rain. And I asked again, Wang Xiaojie. Okay, Wang Xiaojie. What's her family name? It's Wang, right? Wang. Wang Xiaojie. 今天会来吗 ？Will Miss Wang come here today? 会来吗 ？Will come today? 今天。Okay, we can see this time word is before the. The verb again. Don't be sad. 不会来，不会来 is the negative form of 会来 which means she won't. She won't. And 天气太冷了 is the reason why she won't come here. Okay. The the weather is too cold. 太冷了 The weather is too cold. Okay. Here we will see the structure of 会会 We've learned this word before. 会 and it is a modal verb which indicates you are you have acquired an ability through learning, right? Through learning. And today, this 会 it has another meaning. It indicates the possibility you are talking about. Okay, the possibility of the situation you are talking about. And we will talk about this 会 later in the language point part. And now let's try to read this text after me. Three, two, one. 今天会下雨吗？今天不会下雨。王小姐今天会来吗？不会来。天气太冷了。Okay, now now let's try to read in rows. I will be A and you will be B. 今天会下雨吗？王小姐今天会来吗？ Okay, now let's switch the row. You will be A and I will be B. Three, two, one. 今天不会下雨。Okay, very good. Now let's move on to text three. First one, 身体，身身可以体，身体 Read up to me, please. 身体，身体 Pay attention to 体 It is a half the term. 身体 It means body, body. And in China, you might hear someone ask you, 身体好吗？身体好吗？ If I translate this sentence directly into English, then it actually sounds a little bit strange. How's your body, right? 身体好吗 Is your body good? But actually, in Chinese, 身体 can refer to your health condition. Health condition. So when someone is asking 身体好吗 then it actually he or she is asking about your health condition. She is caring about you. Okay, it means how's your health condition? How do you 
feel. Okay, so don't feel strange when someone asks you, 身体好吗? You can just say, I feel good or I, I don't feel good. Okay, 身体好吗? So, this is one way to ask about how's your health condition? How do you feel? And another way to ask about how do you feel is 身体好不好? 好 plus 不好, then it is asking about good or not, right? 好不好? Okay, 身体好不好? And or we can use the how we learned today, which is 怎么样? And we can say 身体怎么样? Okay, 身体怎么样? These are three ways to ask about someone's health condition. One, 身体好吗? Two, 身体好不好? Okay, 身体好不好? Next one is 身体怎么样? Okay, 怎么样? And how to ask these questions? Then it is, for example, if your health condition is very good, you will feel very good, and you can say 身体 很好, right? 身体很好. And if you don't feel good, then you can say 身体不好, 身体不好, 身体不好. Okay, this is 身体. Now let's move on to the next one is I. Read up to me, please. I. I. It means to like, to love to do something. So when you want to say to love to do something, you just put a verb after I. For example, you love to drink tea. Love to drink tea is 爱喝茶. 爱喝茶. And love to drink coffee is 爱喝咖啡. 爱喝咖啡. And you love to eat Chinese dish. Then it is 爱. 吃, 吃 is eat. 爱吃中国菜. 爱吃中国菜. And you love to study. Is 爱学习. 爱学习. Okay. And the negative form of it is 不爱. 不爱. Okay, pay attention to the tone sandy of 不 here again. 不爱. 不爱. So you don't like to drink water is 不爱喝水, okay, 不爱喝水. Don't like to eat meals, 不爱吃饭. Then you don't like to study, 不爱学习, okay, this is 爱. Now let's move on to the next word is 歇, 歇, 歇. Read up to me, please. 歇, 歇, it means some. A few, and we always use it not alone individually. We will use it in some phrases. For example, we will say, "一些." We will put "e" before it. "一些," which means a bunch of things, a bunch of things, something, some, few, a few. And when I say "这些," "这," "这," remember this word. 这, it means this, right? This. And if I put 这 before 些, 这些, because 些 is expressing some, a few. It is, it is indicating a bunch of things. So 这些 must be the plural form of this, which means these. So 这些 means these, okay? These. Now try to say those. Those must be 那些, right? 那些, 那, 那, 那些. Okay, and if I want to say which, which, the plural of which, then it is 那些, okay? 那些, 那, 那. Okay, 那些, which. So if you want to say some or these or those or which thing, then you just put that thing after 一些, after 这些, after 那些, after 哪些, okay? So if I want to say some books, 
some books. Then it is yi xie shu, right? Yi xie shu. And I want to say these chairs. These chairs. Then it is zhe xie yi zi, right? Zhe xie means these. Zhe xie yi zi. And those movies. Those movies. It is na xie dian ying. Dian ying we've learned in last lesson it means movies. Na xie dian ying. And which schools? Which schools? It is na xie xue xiao. Okay, na xie xue xiao. Please pay attention to those and which. One is na xie, one is Na xie, okay, these two have different tones, although they are, their initials and finals are the same, but the tones are different, okay? Na xie, those. Na xie, which. Okay, this is xie. Next one, shui guo, shi wei shui, ge wo guo, two such tones, what should we do? We will change the first tone into second tone, right? The tone sandy of two third tones. 水果, so we will read it as this. Okay, read up me. 水果, 水果, okay, it means fruit, fruit. So eat fruit is 吃水果, right? 吃水果, and love to eat fruit. 爱吃水果, right? 爱吃水果. And what fruit is 什么水果, 什么, it means what, we've learned it before and we have used it for many times. Okay, don't forget it. 什么水果, 什么水果. And what is this fruit? What is this fruit? How to say this in Chinese? So when you want to say a question in Chinese, just say it in the, in the decorative order decorative word order okay so what is this fruit let's transform this question into the declarative word order which is this is what fruit okay and then try to translate it into chinese it is 这是, this is 这是, what fruit 什么水果? 这是什么水果? And put a question mark after it. Then you can get a Chinese question. 这是什么水果? What is this fruit? And let's ask another question. What fruit do you like to eat? What fruit do you like to eat? And in this sentence, which is the subject? You, right? You. So let's put you at the beginning. So. Ni and then let's try to find the predicate for it, which is love to eat, right? Love to eat, which is I chi in Chinese. So ni ai chi and what fruit? Shen shui guo. So ni ai chi shen shui guo. This is the question. What fruit do you like to eat? Ni ai chi shen shui guo. Okay, this is about shui guo. Last word is shui, shui, shui. Read after me, please. 水, 水, it means water, water. So drink water is 喝水, and drink more water is 多喝水, 多喝水. So when you want to express that, express your careness of someone, then you can say 多喝水 to this person, 多喝水. Now let's try to read it from start. It for twice. Three, two, one. 身体, 身体, 爱, 爱, 些, 些, 水果, 水果, 水, 水. Okay, now let's move on to the text. Please listen carefully when I am reading. 你身体怎么样? 我身体不太好。天气太热了，不爱吃饭。你多吃些水果，多喝水。谢谢你，医生。Okay, now let's see it sentence by sentence. First sentence is 你身体怎么样？ How's your health condition? How do you feel? 
你的 subject and 身体怎么样 is the predicate. And in this predicate, we can see 身体 is the subject, small subject. And 怎么样 is the small predicate. Okay, 身体怎么样 How's your health condition? How do you feel? 我身体不太好，不太好。太好 means too good, and 不太好 is not too good, right? Not too good. So it's not that very, not that well, not very well. Okay, 不太好 not very well. Why? Because 天气太热了 The weather is too hot. 天气 The weather 太热了。Hi. Plus the adjective and then plus the le. It is the structure we've learned before for time too much and 不爱吃饭 Don't like to eat rice. Don't like to eat meals because it is too hard. So I lost the appetite. Appetite. And A said, 你多吃些水果，多吃些水果。多吃多 means more, and 吃 means eat. So 多吃 means eat more. Eat more fruit. 多吃些水果 And we can see here is here. Eat more fruit. 多喝水多喝水 Drink more water. And B said, 谢谢你医生 Thank you, doctor. Okay. Now let's try to read it from the start. Okay. Try to read it from the start. Read after me, please. 你身体怎么样？我身体不太好，天气太热了，不爱吃饭。你多吃些水果，多喝水。谢谢你，医生。Now let's try to read it as in rows. I will be A and you will be B. 你身体怎么样？你多吃些水果，多喝水。Okay, now let's switch the row. Three, two, one. 我身体不太好，天气太热了，不爱吃饭。谢谢你，医生。Okay, now let's move on to next part, language point. So first is the interrogative pronoun, 怎么样？怎么样 ？It is used to ask about the condition of of something, okay, of something or someone. It means how, and the structure of it is something or somebody. 怎么样 ？Okay. 怎么样 ？Whatever you wanna ask, you just put that thing or that person before 怎么样。So first, let's see this example. 你的汉语怎么样？你的汉语怎么样 ？Okay, let's see. Your Chinese. How is your Chinese, right? How is your Chinese? Next one. 你妈妈身体怎么样 ？Okay, 你妈妈身体 it means how's your mother's Health condition, your mother's health condition. Okay, last one. 明天天气怎么样 How's the weather tomorrow? How's the weather tomorrow? So how to say? How's your school? How's your school? How's your school? It is. 你的学校怎么样 Or 你们学校怎么样 Okay, 你们学校怎么样 How to say? How's this dish? How's this dish? This dish is 这个菜 right? 这个菜怎么样？这个菜怎么样 ？We will usually put the major word after 这 okay? 这个菜 So this is about 怎么样 interrogative pronoun. Next one is the sentence with a subject predicate phrase as then. Predicate, which means in a big sentence, 
in a big sentence. Okay, there will be a subject and a predicate. Okay, this is the basic structure of a sentence. And for this kind of structure, a subject predicate phrase, it means the predicate for the whole big sentence can be separated into two parts, which is the small subject and the small predicate. Okay, this can be separated into these two parts. Now let's just see the example to understand it. The first one, 我身体不太好。我身体不太好. For the whole sentence, 我 is the big subject, right? 我, me. And then the big predicate is 身体不太好. Okay, 身体不太好 is the big predicate. But inside this predicate, we can see 身体不太好 can act as an small sentence by itself, right? It has a subject, 身体, and 不太好, 不太好, the adjectival predicate, right? The ad adjectives can act as a predicate. So this is the sentences with a subject predicate phrase as a predicate. Okay, this is it. Next, 明天天气很好. For the whole sentence, the subject is 明天, and the predicate is 天气很好. And in the predicate, we can separate it into two parts. 天气, the small subject, and the 很好, the small predicate. 很好, very good. Last one, 你身体怎么样? 你, the big subject, 身体怎么样? The big predicate. How's your health condition? And inside the predicate is 身体, the small subject, the body. And 怎么样, the small predicate. And as we can see here, the subject in the, in this part, the subject in this part is usually a part of the big subject. Let's see, 身体 here actually belongs to 我, right? 身体 belongs to me. And next, 天气, 天气. I am asking about the weather of tomorrow, of tomorrow. And 你身体, 身体 belongs to 你, right? So we can see it is usually related, these two subjects, okay, these two subjects. This, is, this, uh, this structure just sounds a little bit complicated, but it actually is not that complicated. Next one is the adverb tai, which means too much, too much, extremely. Okay. So when you want to say too blah blah blah, too much, then you can say tai plus an adjective and plus lu. Okay, don't forget about lu at the end of sentence. But when you want to express the negative form of tai, which is Bu tai, not to what? Then just say bu tai and plus the adjective. And don't put any lu after it. This is finished, okay? This is it. But for the positive form, don't forget about the lu. Let's see the examples. Tai ru la, too hot. Because this is the positive form, we will use at the end of sentence. Next one, 天气太冷了. The weather is too cold. The weather is too cold. 太冷了. Because it is the positive, positive form, then we put the le at the end of a sentence. Now this one is the negative form. 我身体不太好. Negative form, right? 不太, 不太, not too good. So there is no le after this sentence. Okay, this is Thai, the adverb Thai. Now let's move on to last language point, which is the modal verb Hui. We've learned it before, which means, which indicates the situation, you, the skills, the ability you learned. Okay, you learned. And this time, the modal verb Hui is indicating the possibility of the situation you are talking about. For example, first one, 爸爸八点前, 
会回家吗 ？It means will father come back home before eight o'clock? So it is actually talking about the possibility of father coming back home before eight o'clock, right? 会回家吗 ？So we will put the 会 before the verb. This is the structure. The subject plus 会 and plus the verb. 爸爸会回家。Father will come back home. Okay, father will come back home. And if you want to put any time word inside, then you just need to put the time word before hui. Okay, before hui because hui is the modal verb. Okay, this is the modal verb. It still acts as an predicate with the verb after it. So just put the time word here or here. Okay, so we can say 八点前爸爸会回家吗 Or 爸爸八点前会回家吗 These two are both right, but just don't put 八点前 after 会 or after 回家 Okay. And if I want to express the negative form of it, then you just put 不啊不 before 会不 before 会 Next one, 明天他会来吗 ？Tomorrow, time word here at the beginning. 他会来吗 ？She. And then we can see here is a 会 the modal verb and 来 come the verb. So will she come? It is then it is talking about the possibility of she come here, right? Come here, 会来 come or not? And the answer is 他会来 She will come. 他会来 Okay, last one. 今天会下雨吗 Today will it rain? 会 talking about the possibility of raining. And 不会下雨 No, it won't. 不会 the negative form of it. So when you wanna say you um the possibility of something or not, you can use to use the 会 to ask about it. Okay. 会回家吗？会下雨吗？会来吗？会去吗 ？Okay, this is the language point for today. Now let's move on to next. Let's do some exercise. First one. We can see in this picture she is not feeling very well, right? She is holding her hand in front of her forehead. And the sentence is, 妈妈不太好。妈妈不太好，妈妈 ，mother 不太好 ，not very well. So how to say someone's health condition is not very well? We can use 身体 right? 身体 here. So we can put 身体 here. 妈妈身体不太好 Okay. Next one is 明天天气很好，不会 what tomorrow. The weather is very good. It won't, we can say rain, right? It won't rain. Then it will be a very good weather. So how to say rain? To rain is 下雨 right? 下雨 okay? 不会下雨 Next one, 王小姐爱吃 something. 不爱吃饭王小姐 Miss Wong 爱吃 love to eat something. Don't love to eat meals, and we can see in the picture what are these fruit, 水果 right? 水果 So 王小姐爱吃水果，水果不爱吃饭 Okay, last one. You can see this boy. He looks so. He feels so hot. 今天天气 what? 你多喝水 ，drink more water because today is very hot. So please drink more water. 多喝水 ，drink more water. So how to say today's weather is very hot or too hot? Very hot is 很热 right? 很热 and too hot 太热了 Okay, don't forget about the 热 at the end of a sentence. 太热了 and 热 is the neutral term. And now let's move on to the next part of today, which is the collocation in trisyllabic words. Trisyllabic words. Before we are always talking about the disyllabic words, right? Disyllabic words. Today let's see some trisyllabic words. Three syllables. And for trisyllabic words, it's not that complicated. 
For some of them, many of them, we can separate them into two parts. One disyllabic word and one individual, one monosyllable, okay? One disyllable and one monosyllable. For example, this one, xing qi yi, xing qi yi. For xing qi yi here, it means Monday, right? Xing qi means week and yi means one, first. So xing qi yi, Monday. In this in this trisyllable word, we can obviously separate it into xing qi and yi, a disyllabic word and a monosyllable, okay? So in this situation, we can just read it as, pay attention to the, the rules of disyllabic words for xing qi, how to read it, and yi, how to read it, okay? And there are another, another one, another example, xing qi wu which is Friday, Wu means five, Xing Qi Wu. And for this, we will just pay attention to the disyllabic word, how will we read it, and then just read the monosyllable as itself, how should it read as itself, okay? Xing Qi Wu. And this is about the disyllabic word in the former place and the monosyllable at the latter. And let's see another example, which is 吃苹果. For 吃苹果, 吃 means eat, and 苹果 means apple. This one we can separate it to 吃 and 苹果. So the monosyllable is in the former place, and the disyllables are at the latter, okay, 吃苹果. And for this one, 苹果, how to read it? We will just need to pay attention to the disyllabic word, which is 苹果, and we will read the 果, the third tone, into half the tone, right? 吃苹果, 吃苹果. So it is very easy for trisyllabic words when we can separate it into two parts. We will just read the monosyllable as itself and the disyllable word, how to read it. We will pay attention to the tone, tone change of the third tone. But when we cannot separate it, then we can just read it as the read it as the two and one. Okay, just read it as two and one. For example, 清洁工, this one. Just read it, separate it here. 清洁 and 工, okay? 清洁 and 工. Because there is nothing special for this word. Now let's move on to the next one. Next one. For example, this, 波浪鼓, 波, 波, 乐昂浪, 歌舞鼓, 波浪鼓. Okay, for this one, 波浪鼓, we can separate it here, 波浪, and 鼓 means drum, 波浪鼓 means drum. So we can read it as 波浪鼓, okay, 波浪鼓. This is about the collocation in trisyllabic words. Just try to separate them into two parts, and we know how to read it. Now let's move on to our single component characters. First one is Tian, Tian, which means the sky, sky. And it originally meant the top of our head, top of our head. And now it means the sky opposite to the ground, Tian. Okay, now let's try to write it with me. First, we will write a horizontal hung and then another a little bit longer one. And then now left turning pie and then right turning na. Really easy. Try to write it again. Two horizontals and left and right. Okay? And please pay attention to here, this part. Everything is crossed here. Okay, next try to write it again. Try to write it again. This is Tian, the sky. Now let's try to see another word, which is Qi. Qi. In the, in the ancient time, originally it looked like sun three, and now it looked like this. It means air, the air. We cannot see it and we cannot feel it, but it, it, it exists, okay, Qi. Now let's try to write it with me. First, we will write a left turning, and then a short horizontal, and then an even shorter one, and then this thing, okay? Please try it with me. 
pay attention to the length of each each stroke okay pay attention to the length of it and don't write this part as this this is wrong write it as this okay write it as this this is qi means ear and the last one is yu which means the rain the rain although it looks very long but actually this one is really easy to write Okay, let's see. First, we will write a, a horizontal and then a vertical and then horizontal turning hook. And then we will write a vertical in the middle and then two dots in the left and two dots in the right. Okay, I will write it again, please. Look carefully. Two dots left and two dots right. Okay, try to write it with me. Horizontal, vertical, and then a vertical in the middle, and two dots left and two dots right. This is rain. Again, two dots left and two dots right. Okay, this is Now, let's see two radicals. New radicals. First one, 女, 女字旁, the radical 女, it actually is this word. 女与女, we already know it means woman. So this radical is usually related to woman. Okay, first one is 姐, first example, 姐, 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 which means the older sister, eldest sister. We can see this left part of it is 女字旁, sister, they're women, right? Next one, we're really familiar with it. Ma, ma, which means mother. Mother, obviously, woman. So this left part of ma is 女字旁, radical 女, radical 女. Next one, 十字旁, radical 十, 十. In ancient time, it look like this, and when it is the radical, we will write it as this simplified version of it, this thing. So it is usually related to food. Shi means eat or food. Okay, so it is related to food. So first example must be fun, which means meal. We can see the left part of it is the radical shi here. Radical shi. Next one. In, in, it means to drink. Drink is food too. So we will write it as this. Left part of it is the radical 十. Okay, these are the two radicals. 女 and 十, 女字旁, 十字旁, radical 女, radical 十. Okay, this is all for today's lesson. Thanks for listening. Please try to practice more after the class and see you next time. Bye-bye.